What's up, fanatics? Today you're here to learn a very valuable lesson when it comes to YouTube. Now I'll admit, the last thing I wanna do after working on a video for 15 hours and having it upload to YouTube is thinking, oh no, I need to make a thumbnail. How long is that gonna take me? Thumbnails, as you probably know, are so important when it comes to YouTube and your click-through rate and the algorithms and how sexy your channel looks. But I want you to know, if you're going to make a successful thumbnail, it actually takes a lot of work. Oh, but Ryan, I hate work. It's okay, Timmy. We'll figure this out together. Yes. Thumbnails take work, but I promise you it's important. I mean, you clicked on this video, right? Was it because of the thumbnail? Comment below and tell me if it was. If it wasn't, then awkward. <laughs> now listen, I'm not here to sell you on some grand marketing thing. I'm here to create a thumbnail with you. So I think I have an idea of what I wanna do for the thumbnail for this video, and that's four people looking at text. So let's start by creating four different people. I need shirts. <clears throat> there we go. So I don't wanna waste your time. I'm actually gonna do a cinematic video so that I can kind of speed this up a little bit so we can get back to the editing room and do this thing. That took me 10 minutes. Now we're gonna take this back to the editing room and we're gonna piece all this together somehow. Honestly, after I set up these lights, I was thinking, man, this could be the thumbnail. I could stick the thumbnail we're creating right here on the computer screen. I could look like I'm editing, like, or maybe like. A lot of thumbnail attempts there. Man, this is not what I wanted to do, but I'm so curious to do it now. Next, I'm going to dive in and we are going to edit this together. Now, I know YouTube, I'm a YouTuber, I watch YouTube videos, I know what you're gonna do next, and you're gonna skip around throughout this video to try to find the spots that look interesting to you. And honestly, you guys, that's fine. Because if that's the way you need to learn to find the spots that helps you the most, do that. But please, before you do that, subscribe and hit that like button because that'll at least help boost this up a little bit in the YouTube algorithms if you're going to skip around. If you're not gonna skip around, like and subscribe anyway. Now I want you guys to know something. I'm about to do this all in Premiere Pro because there is nothing like taking Photoshop and Illustrator and After Effects and trying to mess with them all. And I know creators do that and I'm sure you guys know how to do that, but that is a lot of learning. So the first thing I'm going to do is put, oh, that's a great picture to start with, is put all of my pictures together. Click on the export frame button here and I'm going to, I don't really need to save it as anything, I'm just gonna click OK. Now remember to have this checked, import into project, so you don't have to go find it later. Just click OK and it'll import to right here. So I'm gonna find all my pictures, I will do that very quickly. That, boom, camera. I, th I think I'll just do this one. I want these four pictures, so I need this background picture as well. So how are we going to tackle this? I still am not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but the first thing I'm going to do is to key out all of the people. So what you're going to do is go to your effects panel, you're going to type in ultra key, drag that ultra key on top of your clip, go to your effects up here, and you're going to click on this little icon right here, the eyedropper icon of justice. And you're going to click on any of this green, I'd say about here. And all of this is fine because we're not using all of it, but you can go into your settings here and you can adjust things. And you know what? This light is now in my computer screen, so let's say goodbye to the red light for now. So there, as you see, it's kind of blacked out. Now, what's nice is you can right click and copy, highlight the rest of these, I'll highlight over one right click and say paste attributes make sure that the ultra key is clicked on and click okay 
and that'll do the same green for the rest of them so you're not having to do that for each click not too worried you don't have to so now we need to put these guys into position what I'm also going to do is if you go to the opacity tool right here you can cut around just do a very quick job around your person doesn't have to be crazy just very briefly it just cuts the rest of those bullet things out so guys i want you to know that this actually took me 40 minutes to figure out to put things together to cut things to move things around just to try to make this part of the thumbnail look good like I said, I didn't have an exact idea of how I was gonna do it when I started this video. So a lot of creativity and process goes into this and that's what you're seeing right now. So I thank you so much for being patient with me as I go through this because this is just has been crazy. Now granted, I don't do this crazy amount with every single one of my thumbnails, but you really should if you want to be successful on YouTube. Please like this video. There's so much work that goes into creating something like this. It's okay right now. That's what I will say. This to me, it's a cool picture and I think people would click on this, but it's just not perfect for me. I thought this was going to look better, not gonna lie to you. Now I know it's probably weird for you guys because you're watching this video and the thumbnail that I've created has been created. So you're like, you're, you're gonna do this Ryan and it's gonna be great, but I don't know that yet. So that is pretty good. Now I think I'm going to do, I'm going to put these clips that I'm doing right now into Premiere because I think this is okay, but I think we could make it so much better. So this might be the one you saw and that's great. If not, you're gonna see how I tried to make it better or maybe I did make it better. Let's go find out. All right, we are back. I have dumped the clips on there and actually just a little side note, while those clips were being dumped on the computer, I was able to edit probably a fourth of this video. So I've already grabbed the clips here that I want to test it with. I'll put those over here. We're also going to have to cut out my hand and possibly get rid of this cord. probably a long enough video already especially for a thumbnail now remember thumbnails are very important but I will try to speed this up a little bit for you now so so I know you see the cinematic clock going on right here let's get after it <laughs> So we are like 25 minutes into this and I'm still just battling what I want to do for this. So it's pretty frustrating, not gonna lie. My subscribers are worth it. Cause as you see right now, it's set to a cutoff mouse with a cutoff screen and two mouses instead of, you know what? Having two mouses might be an interesting look. Let's keep going. Alright, so I think we're finally on to something good. As my battery is flashing that it needs to be changed, my memory card is running low, we have finally made it. I thought this video was going to be a very quick video and that is not how it turned out. So I think I'm done. I'm really liking where this sits and how it looks. And right now where I'm at my channel, I will actually reply to every single comment. So if you wanna hear from me, please comment below. Guys, please remember to thumbs up this video and to subscribe because I need all the help I can get if I'm gonna reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers this year. Thank you so much for sticking with me. This was quite the complicated tutorial for me to actually do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Cinematic Fanatic, 
keep failing, keep learning, and keep filming.